One way to make text pages a little more interesting is to add dialog boxes like we've done with the tips and tasks boxes in this course. The dialog boxes are essentially tables to graphically organize content. Dialog boxes can be used to prompt different expectations of the students or add prominence to really important points. In addition to the way we've used it here, you could also use it for things to uh, get students to reflect, such as thinkabouts or thinkalouds. Now we're going to give you some tips on how to make formatting dialog boxes easy. We start in this page how it looked like before we added a dialog box in the tips section. And I'm going to take you back to where I created the first tips table. And I spent a great deal of time to make sure that this looked the way I wanted it to look. And what I want to do is sort of save this as, as a template. So I, I basically what I want to do is save the script. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy it. I want to make sure I get all of the code. So I'm going to start at the very end of this paragraph. And I'm going to copy right to the very beginning of, of this paragraph. So I'll click in here and I'll scroll. I'll uh, slide down to just before that paragraph. Copy it. Now I'm going to take this take this table and I'm going to paste it. I'm just going to compose a new web page just so I have a place to actually lay down this uh, the script. There's our table and all I want to do now is I want to make it generic. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, first going to go into the text box, remove the specific content and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a bunch of zeros so I can find it in the code. There it is. And instead of those zeros, what I want to do is just add in something like enter text here. And there we go. I want to move this over to the left. That looks pretty good. And the only thing left to do, I need to clean up the, the ends of the table just to make sure that all we've got is table text. So this is a, a little bit more technical, but basically a table starts with the word table. So I'm going to get rid of everything before table, and then I'm going to clear out everything after table so we don't have any erroneous code left in there. So this is, this is a pure script that describes and builds our table. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy this and I'm going to put it in a in a WordPad or a text edit document. So it's a real simple plain text document. And I'm going to assemble a bunch of these that I can use throughout my course. So this one is going to be called the tips tips table. And later I'll also add my task table and whatever else down below that. Okay, so for right now I'm just going to copy this because what I want to do now is I want to actually embed that table. Into our text page. So here I am. I've gone in to edit this page. Now it doesn't matter if you're using Moodle or what learning management system you're using. Um, all you need to do is get to the point where you can edit these pages. And once again, I'm going to put in a series of digits so that I can identify where I am, where I want to place our script. There it is, way up there. And I'm going to paste our code. Let's toggle back to HTML view. And there's our table. We've got a broken link to our icon, which tends to happen. We'll fix that in a minute. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text and I'm going to move it get rid of our default text. And then I can delete it. 
tips. And the last thing I need to do is just redirect my image icon. At the end of this, after this video, you'll see that uh, there's a script that you can download yourself and you can actually use these dialog boxes that we used for this course uh, in your own or you can use it as a start for making your own template.